Are you looking for a great way to use up all those extra garden tomatoes? We've got the perfect summer treat for you this morning. Let's get cooking with Chef John. Hey everybody and welcome to another segment of Let's Get Cooking with Chef John here at the Cutting Edge Classroom. And today I'm going to show you how to make Chef John's tomato tart. So we start with some uh, phyllo uh, dough that's pre-made, just buy it frozen uh, in the sheets. And you're going to layer these up. The recipe is on WVLT's website so you can see exactly how to layer them. But basically you're putting panko breadcrumbs and uh, good quality olive oil brushed on between sheets. And you layer it up to about 15 or 20 sheets high. Okay, and that's what I have right here. Layers with, you know, breadcrumbs, olive oil, more dough, breadcrumbs, all, and just keep layering them up. So once you get to this point, the next step is to take some pesto. You can make it yourself or use store-bought. And you want to brush this on, but you want to avoid the edges. So just get it close to the edge. And I'll explain why when I get to that. Just like that, okay? Then you're going to take some feta cheese. So this is having kind of like a little bit of a Mediterranean kind of flair to it. Really good stuff. And I'm gonna reserve some feta for later. Then you take your tomatoes and you use any kind of tomatoes you want to. And I'm just gonna slightly shingle them just like that. Or There we go, just like that. Some pepper. Okay. And then a little bit more feta on top. We're gonna fold in, just like that. Fold your edges in, and it does not have to be perfect. This is actually supposed to be a little bit on the rustic side. And there it is. And then you pop it in the oven, and when it comes out, it looks like this. And that's just beautiful. You could finish it with a little bit of fresh olive oil. Give it a little drizzle, a little more basil on top. And this gets garnished with the basil after it comes out of the oven. So once it comes out, then you wanna put your basil on there so it's nice and fresh tasting. And that is your finished Chef John's tomato tart. Easy, simple, great first course or eat it as a meal. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And all these recipes and more can be found on WVLT's website. Have a great day, thank you, bye.